With that thought, there are five types of factor at work in a cosmos that causes things to happen, called panchniyamas. The panchniyamas are the five kinds of law which describe the arising and the ceasing of conditioned phenomena comprehended within the principle of conditionality. Karma is only one of these factors. Present circumstances are the result of a countless factor that are always in a flux. There is no single causes that makes everything to be the way it is. The Sanskrit word niyama is derived from the verbal root oyam means holding back. It can mean an ethical restraint and the Sanskrit word also means necessity. Niyama as the second of the eight limb of Ashtanga Yoga refer to five observances. The Pali Niyam is used in the way in the Milindopana is a Buddhist text which dates from sometime between 100 BC and 200 AD. It purports to record a dialogue between the Buddhist sage Nagasen and the Indo-Greek king Menander of Bacteria. The five Niyamas are First, Uttuniyam. Uttuniyam is the natural law of non-living matter. This natural law orders the change of a season and phenomena related to climate and the weather. They explain the nature of heat and fire, soil and gases, water and wind. Most natural disasters such as flood and earthquake would be governed by Uttuniyam. Put into modern terms, Uttuniyam would correlate with what we think of as physics, chemistry, geology and several science of inorganic phenomena. The most important point to understand about Uttuniyam is that the matter it governs is not part of the law of karma and is not overridden by karma. So, from a Buddhist perspective, natural disasters such as earthquake are not caused by a karma. Second, Bijaniyam. Bijaniyam is the law of a living matter, what we would think of as biology. The Pali word bij means seed and so Bijaniyam governs the nature of germs and seeds and the attribute of a sprout, leaves, flower, fruit and a plant life generally. Some modern scholars suggest that law of genetics that apply to all life, plant and animal would come under the heading of a Bijaniyam. Third, Kammaniyam. Kamma or the karma in the Sanskrit is the law of moral causation. All of our violational thoughts, words and deeds create an energy that bring about effects and that process is called karma. The important point here is that Kammaniyam is a kind of natural law like a gravity that operates without having to be directed by a divine intelligence. In a Buddhism, karma is not a cosmic criminal justice system and no supernatural force or god is directing it to reward the good and punish the weakened. Karma is a rather a natural tendency for a skillful action to create beneficial effect and an unskillful action to create harmful or the painful effect. Fourth, Dhammaniyam. The Pali word Dhamma or the Dharma in Sanskrit has a several meaning. It often is used to refer to the teachings of the Buddha, but it also is used to mean something like manifestation of reality or the nature of existence. One way to think of a Dhammani is as a natural spiritual law. For example, he doctrines of Anta, Sunyata and the marks of existence would be the part of Dhammani. Fifth, Chittaniyam. Chitt means mind, heart or state of consciousness. Chittaniyam is the law of mental activity, something like psychology. It concerns consciousness, thoughts and the perceptions. We tend to think of our mind as us or as the pilot directing us through our lives. But in Buddhism, mental activities are a phenomena that arise for causes and condition like other phenomena. In the teaching of the five skanda, mind is a kind of sense organ and the thoughts are the sense object. In the same way, the nose is a sense organ and the smell are its object. The doctrine of Panchniyama or the order of nature was introduced to a Westerner by Mrs. Ross David in her Buddhism of 1912. She write that the list derived from Buddha Ghosha's commentary and that it synthesized information from the Pitaka regarding cosmic order. 